Now guys, give it up for Andrew Kogan. To, to have to see what ethnicity this hand is. Hey, one, two, did you guess yet? So, did you guess white? Congratulations, you're a fucking racist. <laughs> yes. To this day, no one has guessed the correct, correct ethnicity of this hand. This hand is a different question. This hand is white. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. If, so if you think that race jokes are like out of the question, and like a joke like this, what do you call five black people in a, in an orgy? The <laughs> What <laughs> 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 Because if you think a joke like that is like out of, out of place, clearly you've never been to a comedy club. It's like going to a bathroom and uh, going to a bathroom and being offended somebody farted. <laughs> it's like, ew, that's not what that's. You're in a fucking bathroom. What do you expect? And you hear you're in a fucking comedy club. So as you can tell, I am a villain. Only problem is I'm not respected by any of the other villains. Because what's my power? Super logic. It's the fucking worst power ever. Actually, no, it's not. Because believe it or not, there are some official, official heroes and villains with way worse powers. You know the Red B? Probably not, because he was discontinued in the 30s and then given the public domain. But his power, he controls an army of bees. That's it. He himself is actually quite weak. So that means his path, his weakness, smoking. Go right up to him and punch him in the face with a cigarette. <laughs> That's why you smoke, kids. And also, the worst, worst superpower I've ever heard. Arm fall off boy. Guess what his hand guess what his power is? He rips off his own arm and beats people with it. <laughs> so essentially, his superpower is a disability. <laughs> Yeah, so, whatever race I am, that happens to be not this hand, not this hand, because this hand probably gives me all the shit stuff. I can't jump because of this hand. So, what I need to do get into shape when I'm a supervillain, and I found the one ridiculous thing that can work. Boxer size. Don't know what boxer size is? You box while you exercise. Goes a little something like this. Five, six, seven, eight. Stretch, stretch, near, near. And I fucking messed up. <laughs> now my leg hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm dead, not really respected by the other villains. So, you would think I would like maybe take over a country. Maybe that would work. A few years ago, I was in, a, I was in like, a group to take over a country. You didn't know the country of Malasia? <laughs> it's this little micronation in the middle of Nevada. Basically, this group was going to take over this country just to get around the, the copyright laws of America. Why? Because they were YouTube partners. 
And you two partners don't make that much due to copyright laws, so if they go and get their own copyright system, they can make a whole bunch more two bucks. Yep. But obviously that wasn't about that, wasn't about that so I got kicked out of the group. Very tragic. So, I decided to take over this little country called Sealand. It's a little abandoned army base 10 miles off the coast of Britain. It only exists to get around British import taxes. Now, why this country? Well, I'm going to tell you three things that make Sealand the worst country in the world. One, it caught on fire. This is a country made entirely of concrete and steel in the middle of the fucking ocean. The entire country caught on fire. Number two, it was raided by pirates. Pirates took over the entire country and then fucking left. Didn't take anything. They felt sorry for the inhabitants and gave them a goat. True story, look it up. Number three, it was put on eBay. Yes. So, I could have bought it for three dollars. Clearly. So, I didn't really buy the three dollars because I didn't have three dollars at the time because I'm a fucking broke. Villainy does not pay that well when you're not very good. So, I needed some sort of money making scheme. Obviously, going to not put up, I'm not going to go on an evil, yeah, evil fundraiser, because I can't go around selling Girl Scout cookies, because that's already a monopoly. So, wait, I'm kind of already taking my job. So, what do I do? Do I go around robbing banks? No, you're going to get fucking caught. Yep, yeah, it's going to be up your ass in about 10 minutes. <coughs> Don't ask me how I know that. I've been to DC. So, what do I do? I make movies based off of based off of things you may or may not know. You know, Last Airbender. You know, the Last Airbender movie. That was me. They make a they make a fuck ton of money by the spend it all on my Shyamalan. So. Next, next thing, make crappy video games. You know, E.T.? I didn't actually make that, fuck that. <laughs> Fucking horrible game. So, I found the one thing that's guaranteed to make money. YouTube, wait, fuck, I didn't do it YouTube. That's why I didn't take over Malaku. So, one thing that's probably going to fail, I become stand-up comedian. It's already failing. So, I'm going to leave you with the one thing that's probably the worst thing I could possibly do besides puns. Because I've already tried that, and it failed. So I'm going to leave you with the two truths and a lie game. Tell you one, one thing that's a lie, try to figure it out. Number one, the tribes of North Africa in around the 13th to 15th century would periodically raid Southern Europe. And take their captives as slaves. That would mean black people owning white slaves. Who knew? Number two. Most of the biomass on this earth, well, all the bio, you know, biomass, all the people, plants, fucking everything, one fourth of that is comprised of ants. A lot of fucking ants. That's why you can't kill them with your own foot. So, number three. If you go into space and you don't have a suit on, they are going to freeze within a millisecond. Frozen to solid, you don't float off into space. Which one's a lie? It's actually number three. Because if you're in space without a suit on, you would flash boil while exploding. <laughs> and if you guess number one, congratulations, you're a fucking racist. That's my time. <laughs> I'm Dr. 5C next time.